Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, see, y'all see what's going on here. Now, my folks, Marcus Thornton, right? His whole thing was he didn't, they didn't never pull up in a camo car. All right. With y'all, the car, the camo car of Young Dolph, y'all see in front of Makita's, that was brought there on the flatbed. I told y'all, man, folks say they was in a white, they was in Dolph white Range Rover mostly all night. All right. Y'all have to understand all Dolph cars are not camo. Okay. He has something like 23 cars. Eight of them are camo. Okay. So that means the other 15 are not. So that means that it's a greater chance he's probably not going to be in a camo car what people think. See, what happened was, like I told y'all, that car was left overnight for the video shoot. Check it. That car was on a flatbed for the video shoot. Okay. That's what it was for. It was crazy. So when it was dropped off in front of Makita's, they tried to act like he was driving it that day when he wasn't. Because Marcus Thornton say, bro say, folks say they wasn't in that, uh, they wasn't in that camo car. All right. They wasn't. They was in a white range. Okay. When they pulled up. Not only that, Marcus Thornton also he, folks also know that his whole thing was to call me a J as soon as it happened. Soon as young Dolph got hit, you know, of course, his first thing was to protect his brother. You know what I'm saying? So he upped the blicky, tried to do what he got to do. The dude ended up getting away. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully the people with the, with the, with the, whatever the body fluids that's left on ground, they can trace that back to the, the, the people. You know what I'm saying? So again, his whole thing was to protect his brother, right? Not only that, okay? He's protecting his brother because he's the one that has the rights to carry a legal blicky, okay? Y'all, I told y'all, Dolph stated before, he didn't want to hire security. He say he, it's all people that be on him in the industry about him not having security. He say, why would I pay for somebody I don't know to protect me rather than somebody that love me? Right? Like my brother. You know what I'm saying? I got two brothers. Come on, man. Yes, one is a little younger, but they ain't got no problem riding for me. You know what I'm saying? So again, that was Dolph's whole mentality. And again, Marcus Thornton's whole mentality was, bro, the way how young Dolph got hit up in 2017, Marcus Thornton say, Marcus Thornton really put that on himself and say, man, if I was there, that wouldn't happen. Because dude would have for sure caught a couple. You feel what I'm saying? But, hey, that's why Marcus Thorne is feeling some kind of weight. So, the, once he's seen Young Dolph, like, become a little weird and his body hit the floor, right? Again, he chased the dude in the back with the blicky. You know what I'm saying? Hit him. But, soon as he see how thing, how, like, he, he ran back in the, he ran back in the front to see Dolph, like, laying up. The first thing he's thinking, of course, let me call me a J. I got to protect my niece and nephew. Y'all understand? That's why his whole thing, again, Marcus Stewart is like the knight of the family. Folks is there to protect, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the family, the interests of the family. He tried to with Young Dolph, but he was outnumbered because everybody around them two was working against them too. So the only person who was on the scene to protect and look out for Young Dolph was Marcus Thornton. And guess what? Marcus Thornton never thought it'd get that way. Not in Makita's. Not from what Young Dolph had told them, had told him how Makita's treated him. And he's seen it with his own eyeballs. He's seen it with his own eyes. When he was going there with Young Dolph, how he get treated. So he like, he's listening to Young Dolph. When Young Dolph was like, yeah, this is like when I come here, like, you know what I'm saying? They hook me up. They show me love. Young Dolph not paying attention that they only doing that to you because they you got money, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know it's hard to see because the money is clouding your judgment and you are, you are a respectable guy in the community. But we don't want when, when we have when people have money flowing around, they don't understand 
the magnitude that somebody else is using them just to be around them. Okay. And so that's what Marcus Thorne got a taste of once he's seen how Makita's owners and everybody in Makita's how they was, right? Come on, man. He's seen people, he's seen people trying to go in his pockets. And young dog pockets while you're on the ground. He's seen people taking his jewelry off. How you think, how you think that makes folks feel? For real, real. His brother that he thinking that people got respect for. So he say, let me call me a J. Let me tell her, hey, watch out for my niece and nephews. Not only that, keep your tail out of the spotlight. Don't go doing no interviews, no press conferences with nobody. Because the people that's in your face that you think they doing it out of the kindness of your heart, they just trying to use you. And he's like, you know how I know? I just seen what happened to my brother in my face. That's how I know. Because these same people who was who I thought had a huge, genuine love for my brother, I just seen how they acted in my face. You know what I'm saying? They trying to act like they ain't part of this. So that's why he's trying to hip Mia to what's going on because Dolph not here to do that. You know what I'm saying? Usually Dolph would be here to like, nah, don't talk to that person. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, that person, all right. You know what I'm saying? Like he would let her know. And plus, he even stated before, she's not a social media person, okay? So with that being said, you got all kind of people trying to be in your face, trying to see, like, just trying to come under you, be under you, because they trying to get attached to what Young Dolph has created. They know he created a legacy. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what Marcus Thornton was there to protect. But he couldn't do it by himself. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't do it by himself. It's a sad situation. As always, rest in peace to Young Dolph and condolences to the family. Shout out to my guys in Paper Route Empire. Keep doing y'all thing. Much love to my folks out there in Dolph Land. Y'all know what it is. Yeah, man. So, again, Marcus Thornton was trying to do his best when he's the only one, right, that's looking out for his brother. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why he had to... Get in contact with Mia J. And he had to do it on the low because he got a detective right here asking questions. He got Maurice, Maurice next to him trying to hear who he calling, trying to hear who he talking to. You feel what I'm saying? So folks had to like dip off a little bit and call her. Hey, hey, let me let you know what just happened to Dolph. She, what happened? I thought y'all was, man. So like at the same time, she can't really collect her emotions and her thoughts and her feelings because she's trying to digest and process what happened to the guy that she just spent the last 10 years 10 12 years with created two seeds with you feel what i'm saying so she's trying to process this and at the same time mark is like hey wake up get out of it you know what i'm saying you still have two one little ones there you got to look out for man and it's, again, it's a sad situation. And Marcus Thorne is looking at it from the perspective of, man, if they, how I just seen, how they just set up the chess play on my brother, you don't think I'm thinking they trying to go after my niece and nephews too? Come on, man. And again, see, that's the, that's the protective side. Because again, he, uh, he really, he hopped on that. Like I told y'all, when Dolph got hit up in 2017, Man, Marcus was on it. Marcus was like, man, this, this ain't going to happen again on my watch. So for this to happen on his watch, he wanted to air out everybody in there. But he had to come back to reality and say, hey, man, let me call me a J. And let me check on my niece and nephews and make sure everybody over there is cool. You know what I'm saying? Because how I just seen what happened to my brother, I know them folks got other motives. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all just got to be aware, pay attention. And again, Marcus Thornton said, he, that boy said, I ain't, I ain't riding in no camo that day. He said, yeah, maybe the next, maybe the, the day before. He said that day, man, my brother was riding around in that white, in that white Range Rover, man. Come on, y'all. I told y'all, them people, it's all kind of people working in this plot, in this chess game. You have garbage men, you have regular workers, city workers, you got people on the departments. Come on, man. In order 
for the person who created the chess board, who set it up, they had to set it up that way so it doesn't come close to them. I told y'all, it's all a distraction, okay? Don't folks know how to throw out distraction? Them people up that ladder who want it. Dolph, remove. Rest in peace to young Dolph. You know what I'm saying? That was, a, that was the real king of Memphis. And them people know. And with that, he was a threat. All right? Hey, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's work. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.